I've never seen brokeage like crazy since I came to East Lagos. Um, I needed something to help me with that. So yeah. Keep watching this video if you want to learn all about my one month Chebe experiment, including the pros and the cons of using the product. Thank you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome you guys, so welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the one month Chebe trial I talked about, I have been talking about. I've not really talked about it much, but I think I just posted like two videos on my channel. I was thinking I'll be able to post like as the month progressed but I found that I wasn't able to post as I had hoped so last last I decided to talk to you guys about everything in just one video so I'll be talking extensively about the one month trial and I don't want to waste time here first of all if you're new here and you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and tap the bell or turn on all your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I post new content. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments in the section below. Your experiences with Chebe, people's experiences with Chebe that you know, whether it's positive or negative, just talk about everything in the comment section. Oh yeah. I'm going to start with taking off this shoelace with which I tied my hair. So like I said in the last video I posted about the Chebe, I actually left some of it in my hair so I didn't do a full wash. So I left some of it in my hair and the particles are still there. Please guys, ignore that. That was from renovation. So yeah, my hair still has some of the chebe in it. And I've been working with that because I like the way it conditions my hair. So like I said, I just left that. The delight just... Okay, so I just left that in. So I haven't been combing my hair between... I think it's not long ago since I wash the hair so between then and now a comb hasn't touched it except to floor hair. so just so this is what my hair is looking like guys i'm just going to go ahead and fluff it while i talk about this now my hair is still moisturized from the last time i washed and moisturized it but if yours isn't you might want to moisturize before you start i made a video showing you guys when i purchased the chair and how i prepared it how i applied it to my hair so yeah, I was saying I got some from Jumia and I got the rest from my neighbor. The one that I got from Jumia, like I said, I noticed both of them actually went to work really well. It, to me, they all, they worked effectively because I ended up mixing everything together. So I was applying the chebe every three to four days for two weeks. There was a time I skipped seven days before reapplication and then I skipped another seven days. So I did every seven days for two weeks and three to four days for two weeks. Now, the way that I applied it was just like I showed you guys in the first video, I simply sectioned my hair and then I applied the product. For reapplication, I simply unraveled each section, then applied the chair. First of all, I spritzed each section with water individually. I didn't take down everything and then start patting my hair all over again but i took that in section individually applied my water first in the water for the subsequent times after the first application i added a little bit of peppermint oil and that was it then for the chebe the mixture remained the same i just kept you know topping it up so it would be enough for me and then i was reapplying the entire thing now onto the benefits of chebe that i was on the lookout for I heard Chebe is good for hair growth. I heard it's good for anti-breakage that it prevents your hair from breaking too much Those were the two major functions of it that I heard that made me go for it And then the fact that you know it adds volume to hair. So let's just say those three So did the Chebe I use do these three things? Actually, yes and more So I was able to apply the Chebe consistently because that's the important thing guys consistency if you get this thing and you don't apply it consistently, you won't get the results. I said in my first video that people were dropping reviews on this product and a lot of people were saying that commented on the product on Jumia were saying that they didn't get their money's worth. The product didn't work, work like they expected it to. You cannot, a product cannot work like you expect it to if you're not using it consistently. In this natural hair thing, consistency is key. And because I was able to apply mine every three days consistently for that two weeks and even the seven days, the reason I skipped seven days was because I was busy and then I didn't have time to, you know, do it happens like that. You won't always have the time to do it consistently, especially if it's every three days. Three days is fast. 
So yeah, that happened. Yeah, the product was really, really good. The major reason I went for it, the major, major reason was for anti-breakage. I've been experiencing breakage like crazy since I came to this Lagos. And um, I needed something to help me with that. So yeah, I, yeah, I tried Chebe and it worked. So I recommend it to anyone. The breakage I started experiencing reduced by like 90%. So at the end of the one month, I was getting the breakage I should be getting for walking around without doing anything to my hair for a month unlike before where i would just experience crazy breakage even when i was doing stuff to my hair by stuff i mean moisturizing taking care of you and all of that at the end of the day i was applying that for that amount of time and then i'll talk about the pros first so it helped me anti-breakage it helped me with volume and then it helped me with moisturizing it, it's really moisturizing because of those oils and then the cheddar itself and then i also noticed that it's really really good for anti-shrinkage so those of you who want something anti-shrinkage something that will make your, keep your hair stretch you may want to try this cheddar although it's really really messy and it's not something you can you know, put in your hair and then unravel your hair like this and then walk around. It's really, really messy. And I did try to wear my hair, my twist down one or two times. I didn't like it because it was all over my body with all those graininess, like sand on your body, you know, that kind of thing. I went ahead to apply it on my hair and then I let the twist stay. Now, if you don't want to get bored with your twist, you can switch it up. That's why I made sure my twist were in a size that I could style. So I was able to style my twist one way or the other and then I was also able to just pack my twist and be good because it's also hot so you want to take into consideration all those things. Now the fact that it was hot actually added to my discomfort while wearing the chubby of my hair because you know you are already stressful enough walking around with moisturized hair on its own that you've not put your hair in a protective style or anything. Then this was me walking around with chubby in my hair and then doing absolutely nothing to it except continuous replication of the cherry powder and all of those things so it was really really uncomfortable so i'm going to tell you that's like the first con it was really uncomfortable but somehow i managed to go through the first month the second con was it was difficult to sleep now cherry is not it's very messy let me say that so to sleep i just i started off with putting a plastic bag over my head and then wearing my satin wallet but guys the first day i tried that thing i almost died of heat so the um, plastic bag was out. I just started sleeping with my satin bonnet. Now because of how messy cheddar is, I ended up washing my satin bonnet every should I say every week against every month that I typically do. Don't come for me. <laughs> so I ended up washing my satin bonnet every week, every five days, just more frequently because when I wore the cheddar in my hair and then I put my bonnet on. The chebe actually darkened my bonnet and darkened my bed sheet. So it was just messing up everywhere. You can't sit down and lean your head on the wall. You can't sit, especially if the wall is white. If it's like a towel the wall, you can risk it. But yeah, so such things. So that is like the second con. The third con is you have to keep your hair style one way mostly. It's not something you can be flexible with your styling. You can be flexible with styling the twist. If it's twist, you, leave your, you choose to leave your hair in. But it's not something you can put in your hair and then go about braiding, making cornrows and all of that. Because you have to keep reapplying. The Chilean women reapply it and then it's just emphasized that you need to be reapplying your chair. You can't just put it in one time and expect it to do the work it's supposed to do for the month. Because of the reapplication, it's not, it doesn't make styling your own hair versatile. Abby, it doesn't make styling your own hair easy. So you just have to make do with your twist. And that is where it becomes difficult for people who don't like wearing one hairstyle for a long time. But for me, since I needed it, I went ahead and I did that. Most of the questions I had people asking me about the challenge included where to purchase it from. I got mine from Jumia, like I said, and I have a neighbor that sells. But also there is someone on my Facebook, Mary Godwin of King Chick Natural Hair Care. She sells chebe, coca oil and other natural hair products. And I can I recommend her because she's actually authentic, so you can get from her. She's on Facebook, and also there's a Miss Sahel. I think she's the one that started the entire Chebe Rave because she has quite a following, and it's her video that I actually saw on YouTube when I went to start checking about the entire Chebe. Thing. So there's a Miss I think Sahel Cosmetics is her brand name, so you can check her out on Instagram. 
I'm not sure what her Facebook is, but I know on Instagram she is Sahel Cosmetics and she also sells good quality cheddar. Otherwise, if you want to get from other places like Jumia, like I did, you'll be taking a risk, especially if you can't see. Oh my god, it's my eye. Especially if you can't see the product you are buying because you know Jumia is like an online market and oh wow, it's my eye. And you won't be able to see what you're buying, so it's just better to buy from vendors that you can see. And people that actually know the product so they can tell you exactly what it is you're buying so there's that basically i think that's it from the application to my styling to the pros and the cons but i'll just summarize everything the pros like i said it did what i wanted it to do it helped me with the breakage i was experiencing and at the end of one month my breakage reduced greatly and then the products also helped my hair with moisture it actually added a lot of moisture and then definition guys since i took down that thing my hair has been like defined like the definition was crazy you know i just applied it and left it but i feel like it's something that if you use a cheddar infused product you get a lot of definition from that product because this is me using just the cheddar on its own and then i'm getting this mad definition so i feel like it helped with my definition so now if i want to go ahead and gets even more defined curls it's up to me to start using products that define curls especially my type of curls so yeah there is that and another thing also is it helped my hair with shine which i always look out for i typically go for freeze over definition and then i like added shine as an extra let's not forget it so yeah the hair growth has been crazy i noticed that i gained i said in the last video two inches in a month and that's not something that typically happens basically i don't check my the amount of inches that i gain but for this one i lost the initial video showing where my hair stopped when i started using this thing but because i trimmed my hair right before i started i trimmed off about an inch but and then i know my hair has been growing so slowly since i got here but so far, my hair is about armpit length now. I trimmed off some inches and I lost some this year. So my armpit length now, when I started, I was about here. Somewhere just below collarbone. So this is about two inches of hair. I really wish I had the initial video showing when it, how my hair was before I started, but I don't have it. So we just have to make do with this. It actually did help me with growth. I think that's about all that I can cover. Should you get this product? Definitely yes for me. Although I've had people say they experienced a negative effect from using this product. Someone said she used the product and it touched her scalp and she wasn't able to keep the product in her hair. Her scalp was itching so bad she had to get it out. Yeah, which brings me to another thing. The product actually touched my own scalp because when I apply my product, I don't like applying product to my hair alone while my scalp is dry. So I went ahead and applied the product to my scalp and my hair and it was really, really effective all around. So that's basically it. Um, I'll just I'll just stop here for now, guys. Please let me know in the comments if I'm missing anything. If there is a point you feel like I didn't touch or I didn't talk about and I'll definitely film another video to address the rest of it but for now I think that's about all of it talking about this chapter oh, wow. oh my god look at the flower hey oh Jesus okay yeah so I was saying I think that's about all of it addressing this product and how I used it Like I said, just let me know anything you feel or you think in the comment section and I'll come back and address it. But for now, <laughs> are you seeing this for? It wasn't like this last month. Uh... Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to leave all your comments in the section below. I'm really, really particular about hearing from you guys. You see my nails? Just, oh, oh, this phone, stop messing up. See my nails? Exactly. So it's not clean at all. So I'm particular about hearing your experiences with this product if you've used it before and then just let me know what you think I should do next. Thank you for watching this video guys. Please subscribe, keep thumbsing up this video and share this video out with someone who you feel needs it. Thank you.